Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to add our simulation results to an Excel file. I've made a new script called maxl.py and you can see that I've imported pandas. I'm importing a new library we haven't seen before. This will be our driver or engine for writing the Excel file. We have a new function called create Excel and we've got the if name is main down here so that we can execute this directly from this file and at the end we'll put this function into the simulator. The xlsx writer is a new library that we don't have and we need to install it. it. means you need to go to the console, make sure your virtual environment is active, which I guess it is, and just type pip install xlsx writer. I've already done it so I'm not going to do it, but uh, that should take really just a couple of seconds to install. And now we're set up, we're ready to go in writing our data frame. So what I'd like to do is rather than write just the data frame as it is to one sheet, I'd like to create a separate sheet for each of the pairs. That adds a little bit more complexity to what we're trying to do so you can see how that's done. The actual process is almost built into pandas like everything is and it's fairly straightforward. We, we just need to make a name of the file and then much like when we create a data frame we need to create something called an Excel writer from pandas and we need to tell the Excel writer the name of our file and what the library or engine is that we're using to do this which in our case is the xlsx writer and now we're almost ready to write the data frame however i'd like to do a couple of things you remember in ma sim explore the notebook we slim the data frame down slightly here to get rid of some of the columns i'd like to do that so we'll put that here i've put copy on the end here just to explicitly tell pandas that we know we're taking a copy of the data frame so we don't get any warnings later on and the other thing i'd like to do is take this row where we create the cross as well and in fact this row probably should have been inside the simulator seeing as we're nearly always going to need it anyway so we've got the cross and we've taken the columns we need now what i'd like to do is sort the data frame in order of pair and then total gain so there's something slightly new here so we're sorting by two values so by pair and then by total gain and you'll see that for the ascending we've also got a list and that's because i'd like to sort in ascending order by pair but i want to sort in descending order for the total gain otherwise things just default to ascending all of the time and then finally we'll do it in place so we modify this data frame in place so the only thing remaining now is to write the sheets so we're going to make a new function called add pair sheets and this will take in the data frame and it'll also take in our writer and now what we're going to do is simply loop through our pairs so we can say 4p in ma test results dot pair dot unique and now we can get ourselves a temporary data frame so temp df is equal to ma test results square brackets and ma test results dot pair equals p and then finally we can write this to a new sheet so the way we do this is we say temp df to excel and then we send in the writer that we're using give it the sheet name which is p for the pair and tell it not to write the index the reason we say not to write the index is because if that defaults to true and then what it'll do is to write the index down the left hand side with a border and bold and we don't really need that so that's all we need to do there well, the remaining thing is to call this function just here so we'll do add pair sheets ma test results goes in as does our writer and then we can save the sheet that should be barring typing errors and things all we need to do to create an excel sheet with sheets for our pairs and the results inside so let's go to the console give the file a whirl and well no errors so let's see if we have something in the explorer and here's an excel file i'll double click okay and we can see we have something that looks i think exactly what we wanted so we have our data frames we have the canadian swiss franc and then we've got a sheet sort in alphabetical order and then the sheets themselves are in descending order of total pips gained okay then so the final thing to do really is take this create excel function go into our ma underscore sim and inside the process results here, what we're going to do is have our create Excel, and that takes as an argument just the data frame. So we'll put the final data frame inside. And we need to make sure this file actually knows that this exists. So at the top, we can say from MA Excel import create Excel. And this function is then available to use inside this file. Now I won't run the simulation now, but what should happen is when you run the simulation again, you'll get this data frame saved as an Excel file as well as the pickle. That's it then for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, welcome as always. Otherwise, on to the next one.